man. Uh, the Fender Strat and the Garcia sound. Uh, there's a lot of um, sweaty palm writing and talking about it. Stratocaster when it comes to Jerry Garcia and um, uh, his sound. And I think that that basically all guitar playing deadheads can agree that uh, a Stratocaster is a key component of the uh, Jerry Garcia equation. Pretty much after he started playing one in 1972, um, you can kind of make a case he never went back um, from there. All the guitars, all the Irwin guitars are kind of super strats. Um, they're wired like strats. They have the same scale length and switching and then the, you know, the three knobs. Um, so yeah, Jerry Garcia and uh, a clean Fender-ish um, amplification platform and the Stratocaster I think gets you almost all the way there. Um, this setup is a good deal um, fancier. I don't know what the right adjective to put on it is. It, 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 um, it, it, it's, it's what I have, um, and it's, it's sort of what Jerry used, but um, really, a, I think a, a simple um, Fender uh, amp and a uh, Strat is, is sort of the key sound. Now, so I've been listening a lot recently to the August 1972 shows. So the Berkeley Community Theater, and then right after that, they went on up to Veneta, Oregon, and played um, what a lot of people consider is like one of the classic Grateful Dead shows um, at the uh, Renaissance Fairgrounds in Veneta, Oregon. Um, that He's Gone was sort of based around um, Jerry's parts on, uh, on that uh, particular, that what I was just riffing on at the beginning was kind of based around what Jerry was playing um, at the Veneta show. Now, Europe 72, obviously, there's a, there's a Stratocaster involved in those performances. That's the Alligator. Um, the Alligator has got a um, preamp in it. The bridge is a little different. When you look at the, the Sunshine Daydream movie and you look at the, the, the uh, um, video that's available of that Vanita performance, it's a um, kind of unadulterated Fender Strat. It, it's a maple board. This one has obviously got a rosewood board. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's a 50s Strat, and, um, it sounds all day long, like just couldn't be anybody else playing lead guitar on that performance. It's, uh, it's totally iconic. Now, um, w when, when I grab a Stratocaster from a guitar shop or from a friend's house or whatever, um, you, you're kind of faced with one of the great conundrums in electric guitar playing. Is it going to be a good Strat or a bad one? <laughs> I think a lot of people, myself included, have were turned off from uh, electric guitar playing. My friend in junior high had a Strat, and it was this punk ass, you know, Squire that sounded like a toy guitar. Uh, it just didn't sound good. The um, pickups were kind of weak, and you know, the bridge was was what it was. It, it was perfectly fine to learn on, but it didn't have that that punchy sound. This is a, this is a, um, this represents a slightly a little bit higher investment. Um, this is a, a custom shop. 1960s, you know, it's it's like a copy of a 60s slab board Strat, and um, it, it, it to me it, it it sounds like what a good Stratocaster should on the middle pickup. On the middle pickup, it it has that completely evocative sound of Jerry Garcia where it couldn't be anyone else. It's not the bridge pickup. Um, that has a good sound, and we can talk about that a little bit here in a second. And it's not the neck. Um, it's the middle, clearly. It's, it's the middle pickup. That's... Um, that's the Jerry Garcia sound. Uh, now, I, I don't want to be too dogmatic about this because for a long time I wouldn't move, I would set it in the middle and then I would not move it. And um, it, when you, I think a very important part of playing the electric guitar and when you're, I don't want to say tone chasing, but looking for sounds on, on the guitar is recognizing what you're hearing. Um, and lo and behold, it turns out Garcia used the bridge pickup a ton too. 
I like this guitar because it has kind of that nasally mid-rangey uh, bridge sound. And part of that is to do with, I have the tone. I have the tone rolled off a little bit. Um, and I think that's really important. The stock wiring on strats is, um, of course, master volume for all three pickups. And then the forward tone knob controls these two. No, no, I'm sorry. That's, that's totally wrong. The stock wiring on, on, uh, from the factory on a, on a Strat is you know master volume, of course, for all three pickups. And then the forward tone knob controls the neck. And then usually this knob controls the middle. Um, so this one came from the store wired with the back tone knob uh, on the bridge, which is, I think, kind of important because you want to be able to, you want to be able to roll off, you want to be able to roll off a little of that tone, that, that tone. Yeah, so um, that's sort of my two cents on how to how I like to approach playing Grateful Dead material on a Strat. Uh, it's you know, there's everybody says this in every guitar video that you got to find your own voice. I, I, I kind of use Jerry to help nudge me in the direction of things that I like because it's it, you know when I hear when I hear somebody uh, like Garcia play, I'm like, oh wow, that sound I really like. What is happening here? That's a, that's a tone I like, um, and uh, you know, many 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 Strat players go their entire career um, not utilizing the pickup, middle pickup. I think it gives you a very nice balanced uh, sound that's totally unique. You hear a lot of recordings on either the neck or the bridge, but. So check out those check out those shows from August 1972. 50 years have gone by since they were uh, performed. And um, you'll hear the, just the, you know, pretty close to perfection sound of, of just a, a, a what I think is a, a stock Fender Strat. And um, uh, uh, going into, of course, the, the, the Grateful Dead Fender Alembic sized uh, amplification platform. I think probably a twin reverb and some D120s were involved in that. Um, but uh, on the guitar side of things, well, I who knows? I mean, they're, they're, they may have modded those guitars and they look stock. But uh, my, my guess is they're pretty close to pretty pretty close to stock. Um, that's uh, that's my thoughts on um, Garcia and the Stratocaster. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If uh, um, this content speaks to you, um, subscribe. Um, we're seeing where the, where the story takes us. Um, I uh, have been enjoying making these videos a lot lately, and I, I think I've got my video sound rig a little more dialed in. So um, hopefully we can uh, continue the journey together. So yeah, thanks, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.